Indonesia, a vast agricultural landscape spanning across the island that produces many kinds of agricultural products. Many of those agricultural products are distributed to supermarkets and traditional markets across Indonesia, even overseas, such as tomatoes. To make up the demand for the need of tomatoes, Indonesia farmers has produced over 1,020,331 tons of tomatoes in 2019. When buying or harvesting tomatoes, people often judge the maturity of the tomatoes by its colors. Red is for ready, green is still immature, and greenish red or vice versa is still between ready or immature. This method is ineffective. Why? Because the colors of the tomatoes are only the skin. What matters are inside of it. Calculating the timing from when the tomatoes are harvested from their plants to being shipped to the consumers are critical. It will determine the maturity point of the tomatoes when it arrives. One mistake on the calculation and the tomatoes could end up to ripe and starting to decay. Tell contribute as a food waste and end up in the dump. In 2019, Indonesia produced over 1.3 million tons of food waste. With the help of food analyzing technology through non-destructive methods and integration of technology into the agriculture field to minimize the chance of overmature tomatoes when distributed with the help of Spectroscopy Spectroscopy is a study of absorption and emission of a light and other radiation by a matter. As in this case, the matter is the inside of the tomatoes as related to the dependence of these processes on the wavelength of the radiation. Study of the interaction between particles such as electrons, protons, and ions, as well as their interaction with other particles as a function of their collision energy. On the test, the tomato that we are going to analyze will be heated with the halogen light from the halogen tube. When the lights hit the surface of the tomato, some energy emitted from the halogen will be absorbed and will cause some of the particle inside of the tomato to act, and the rest of the unabsorbed energy will be reflected back into the spectroscope as a reflectance. Inside the spectrometer, the unabsorbed light passes through a slit which acts as an entrance. Then the light reflects from a collimating mirror as a collimated beam toward the grating. The collimating mirror reflects photons to a diffraction grating, which splits photons by wavelength. The diffraction grating then spreads light across the focusing mirror and directs light toward the detector pixel. Each pixel represents a portion of a spectrum that is translated with the spectroscopy software. This non-destructive food analysis technology has proven to be more accurate and reliable. Apart from being used by private plantation, this technology is rarely used by small farmers who are more scattered in rural villages in Indonesia. The introduction of this technology in several vegetable and fruit farmer groups by making the spectroscopy more portable and cost-effective will greatly assess farmers in determining the maturity of fruit and vegetables with the appropriate mathematical models. This step will be a small step towards equitable distribution of modern agriculture.